yesterday we have discussed on uh, newton's forward interpolation and backward interpolation right so here also we'll do the same problems okay here also let us see so you are able to see the screen right yes sir okay so here they have given f of 40 that means this means x value 40 is x value and function value is 184 similarly function x value is 50 next function value is 204 x value is 60 226 70 220 250 80 276 90 and 304 okay so i have listed in table like this okay now what i need to find he has asked us to find uh, f of 38 that means x equal to 38 they have given and we need to find corresponding y value for it similarly suppose if x is equal to 85 then what we need to find y value okay this is the question okay using the suitable interpolation okay so how will you decide which uh, which interpolation will be suitable based on x value right so where does this 38 lies where does this 35 lies is this less than 40 or greater than 40 less than 40 less than 40 right so it is less than 40 means that means uh, next to values we know okay that means we have to do forward interpolation okay so if you make a line like this your 40 is here okay suppose he has asked us the value some uh, some 85 he has asked right 85 lies in 40 to 90 correct last data here is 90 somewhere here we need to find 85 so here you can use backward or forward okay but <clears throat> he has given the data here that means 38 lies here so you have to go for forward interpolation only for this okay so now we will make use of forward interpolation formula okay so here i'll write given x value is x is equal to 38 okay now we need to find what is r value so for forward interpolation formula r is equal to x minus x not you have to start with x not divided by h what is the x value x value is 38 so write 38 x not x not is 40 x not means first value okay this is y not okay since we are using forward interpolation formula i have to write del 1 delta 2 delta 3 so these are the notations for delta okay now what is the difference common difference between 40 to 50 50 to 60 60 to 70 so common difference is 10 so we have to write 10 here okay so just check how much you'll get minus 2 divided by 10 which is minus 1 by 5 1 by 5 that means in points you'll get 0.2 right 0.2 so you'll get in the points as 0.2 okay so now we got our value so by 
न्यूटन्स फॉरवर्ड इंटरपोलेशन फॉर्मूला वॉट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स आर यू कैन राइट वाई आर इज इक्वल टू दट मीन वाई एट थर्टी एट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू फ्रॉम वेर यू हैव टू स्टार्ट वाई नॉट प्लस आर इंटू डेल्टा वाई वाई नॉट प्लस ओके R into R minus one divided by two factorial into del square. Sorry, this is backward difference. Delta why not? Delta square that means second order why not? Plus third term is R into R minus one into R minus two divided by three factorial into delta cube why not? Okay, so maximum we'll get a three terms. So that's why I have written three terms here. Okay, so what is y not here? Here only I have written y not. It means one eighty four. Okay, first we'll find these values. Higher or higher order differences we need to find. So if you want to find first order difference, what we need to do? This is y not, y one, y two, y three, y four. And this is y five. Okay, so if you are doing forward interpolation, higher one minus lower one. Okay, how much you'll get? Two not four minus one not eight. One eighty four. This is twenty you'll get. Correct. So calculate the differences and then we'll go for formula. Okay, next year two twenty six minus two not four. It is twenty two. This is twenty-two. Next to here, twenty. Twenty-four. We'll get twenty-six, twenty-eight, and twenty-eight here. Next, follow next order difference. Two. Here two. Here also two. Here also two. We'll get. Next here, next order difference zero. Here also zero. Here also zero. We'll get. Finally, on the last difference, it is zero. So y r. Y R is nothing but Y of thirty eight is equal to Y not. Y not is how much? One eighty four plus R. R means minus zero point two into delta Y not. So delta Y not is twenty plus R into R minus one. So minus zero point two into zero point two minus one. Okay, divided by two factorial. That means two into del square. Why not? Second order derivative. It is two. That means the second order difference. It is two. Okay, third order difference is zero. So no need to write. Okay, y at thirty eight. Is equal to how much you'll get if you do all these things? One eighty four. Uh, otherwise, you calculate in Kelsey and tell me the answer. I think you'll get one eighty one eighty point two four. One eighty point two four. Okay. So that's it. So therefore, this is the y value at thirty-eight. Okay. Similarly, if we want to find function value at eighty-five, okay. So which one is preferable? It is on the next end, right? That is here. We'll get eighty-five in the middle. So backward difference will be easy because uh, the last value is near to this. So for this value, we'll select backward difference. Calculation will be easy. That's it. If you use backward difference for this, okay. Now here, 
given x is equal to how much 85 okay so r value is also same for this uh, r value is how, how will you calculate for backward difference x n minus sorry x minus x n divided by h x minus x means 85 minus x n last value x n is 90 divided by 10 so what is the value yes minus 0 uh, minus, minus 5 0. by 10 5. Minus zero point five will get. Okay, so here backward differences can be represented with del letter del. Forward difference uh, symbol is delta. Delta means proper triangle. Okay, del is nothing but reverse triangle. This is delta. We call this as delta, and this is del. Okay. We pronounce it as del for backward difference. So here del, next to second order difference del square, del cube. Okay. So first to find out the same difference will be same. The table won't change. So twenty here, twenty two here, twenty four here, twenty six and twenty eight. Here also two two two. This difference also same. Okay. Uh, now, by Newton's backward interpolation, so y r is equal to here first to start with y n plus. R into delta y n plus R into plus one you'll get divided by two factorial into del square y n. Sir, can't we do plus... it with the forward uh, interpolation, sir? Hmm? Can't we do forward it? Also, you can do. It. You can do. No problem. Because sir, uh, we here, have to do it with R both. R value is more than. Yes. We have to do it with both the methods, sir. Forward and backward. No need. Only one method. Just for your understanding purpose, I told. Okay. When we use forward interpolation, means uh, the data, the known data should be front of the data. Okay, and front of the unknown. That means, see. For example, just now I said, forty is here. That means starting value. This is ending value. Suppose ninety degrees is ending value. When we we'll use forward difference means just for calculation purpose. That's it. Okay. Otherwise, any uh, for uh, interpolation is fine. Okay. Suppose your data is here. Okay. Before forty. That means here he has given thirty-eight. Suppose he has given thirty. Your known data is front side, right? so we have to go for forward interpolation form okay suppose you are given data is somewhere here or here near to end point right side end point so at that time making use of backward backward data will calculate so that's why we are using backward interpolation formula here okay so just to to reduce this calculation r value Okay, that's it. Is minus zero point two is greater or zero uh, minus zero point five is greater? Yes, minus zero point two or minus zero point five? Zero point two, sir. 
ஃபார்முலா So we'll do one more problem, don't worry. Uh, here also r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 divided by 3 factorial into del cube yn. Okay, so yr is equal to, that means y at 85 is equal to yn. What is yn? 3 not 4, highest value. Plus uh, here r r is minus 0 0.5 into del y n that means 28 plus r into r minus 1 minus 0 0.5 into minus 0 0.5 minus 1 or plus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 here del square it is 2 so y at 85 is equal to uh, 304 uh, minus 28 into uh, this can be written as 1 by 2 okay plus sorry uh, minus of minus Sorry, minus into plus, minus only will be. Minus, uh, how much will get? 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. 1 by 4. 1 by, uh, one by four. here 2 to get cancelled. We will get 289.75. 2 we'll get... 289.75 so here you'll get 14 right so 304 minus 14 minus 0 0.25 so that means 289.75 that's it So we have many problems in uh, this one. So you can calculate it. Just go through the material which I have shared. In this one, more exercise problems are there. You can check it. Just go through the problem once again, from starting onwards. Very easiest problems these are. Just you need to know the formula, that's it. Substitution, calculation. But while using the calculator, you should be very careful with the symbols, plus and minus. Is it fine? So he has given range bound between the numbers. 30 to 40, 31 students are there. 40 to 50, 42 students are there. 50 to 60, 51. 60 to 70, 35. 70 to 80, that is 31 is there. Now we need to rewrite the given data. Okay. So... Uh, I will rewrite the given data by taking end values. So 30 to 40, I don't want. I will take 40. So less than 40, how much we got, we will calculate. 
so less than 40 is obviously 31 okay so first we have to frame uh, the data so here i can write it as 31 as usual next if i want a below 50 so what i need to do students scored below 50 how can i get here excluding this this also will come correct below 50 i am saying Okay, below 50 means 31 plus 42. So that means 31 plus 42, which is nothing but 73. Okay, so here you will get the data as 73. Now I want students scored below 60. How much you'll get? This is 73 plus this value, 51. How much you'll get? 124. 70 plus 124. So I'll get 124 here. Similarly, students scored below 70. Again, 124 plus this value, 35. 150 159. 159. Hmm. 159. Next, students score below 80. 159 plus 35. 190. Sorry, 31. 31. This 192. So 192. 190, sir. Is it 190? Okay. 190. So 31, it is 190. So now I got this value. Now what do you want? less than 45 marks okay 45 where it will come between 40 and 50 40 to 50 so that means here we got unknown so we can you make use of forward interpolation formula so it is near to starting point right so we can use forward interpolation so here uh, I, if I am using forward interpolation, I can write delta 1, delta 2, delta 3, delta 4. Up to fourth order difference will be. Next here, find the difference. 73 minus 31. 73 minus 31, it 42. is 42. Next, 51. Next, here 35. Next here. 31 if you difference it okay so now again take difference between these two how much 51 minus 42 9 here 9 will get minus 16 will get next here minus 4 next take difference between these two minus 16 minus uh, 9 minus 25 huh? Yes, sir. Next year, 12 will get. Next difference between these two. 12 plus uh, 25. 37. Huh? So, this is delta power 4. That means del power 4. So, now we are doing forward interpolation formula. That means year to year, we will move. 
So first we need to calculate given x is equal to 45. Okay. So given x is equal to 45. So what will be our value for forward interpolation? X minus x naught divided by h is equal to how much will it? X minus x naught. X minus x naught is 40. Sorry, x is 45. X naught value is forty. That means starting value. What is the difference? Ten I have taken. So divided by ten I will take. So R equal to how much? Five by ten. That means one by two, zero point five. Okay, R value is zero point five by Newton's forward. interpolation okay so y r is equal to y not plus r into delta y not sorry plus r into r minus 1 into divided by 2 factorial uh, del square y not plus R into R minus one into R minus two divided by three factorial del cube by not till del power four we have done right so R into R minus one into R minus two R minus three divided by four factorial del power four by not okay so now. So y r that means y at forty five degree forty five is equal to what is the first value here thirty <coughs> one so thirty one is the first value plus here r r is zero point five into uh, del y not so that means forty two plus R into R minus one, so that means zero point five into zero point five minus one minus zero point five into R minus two minus one point five. Minus one point five. Okay, divided by four factorial. So four. Sorry, three factorial. Okay, plus next zero point five. Into minus zero point five, into minus one point five, into minus how much? Two point five. Divided by four factorial. So here into how much we got? Forty two after nine. Nine. Into sir, it nine should be divided there. by two factorial, no sir. Which one? Second term, third term. Oh wait, wait. Third time I had introduced, na? Oh, directly I have written this one. Wait a minute. In third term, only two terms will get. This is dragging on today. I don't know. Okay, so zero zero point five into minus zero point five divided by two, you'll get into 
you'll get the answer as this much 47 point sorry ah oh, yes get 47 point 86 so check with the calculation make use of calcis numerical methods completely depend on your calci only not we can simplify and write then we can calculate for your sake i'll write uh, calculated version that means uh, here 31 is there plus here i can write this as 1 by 2 so 42 by 2 plus here uh, not plus minus will get Minus one uh, by two into one by two. This one by four. One by four into two. One by eight. So I'll get nine by eight. Will get. Next plus. Uh, is it plus? Minus minus sir. Minus will get. Minus here one uh, by two. Into one by two, it is one by four. Into three by two, one point five can be written as three by two. So one by four into three by two. That means three by eight will get three by eight into uh, three factorial means six. So one by six into twenty five. Okay, next minus. Is it minus? Minus, minus, minus. Yes. Minus will get. Uh, here. In denominator, one by twenty-four will be there, because one by four factor is nothing but twenty-four. Uh, One by two into one by two, it is one by four. One by four into three by two, that means three by eight. Three by eight into five by two, fifteen divided by sixteen. Fifteen by sixteen will get. Fifteen by sixteen into thirty-seven. So all minus only will get. Is equal to if you calculate this much, you'll get forty-seven point eight six. This will be the answer. Forty-seven point eight six. I am asking about B question. Okay, if I want to get less between forty to forty-five. Students between forty uh, to forty-five. How will you get this? Hmm. 
that means here if i want to get this means f of 45 minus f of 40 if i do this what happens that means we have to do 47.86 minus 31 how much will get that is the answer so that means so we, uh, we have calculated what uh, less than 45 okay less than 45 means it includes uh, all the things right below uh, th- below 40 also it will get okay so i want to exclude it if i want to calculate only 40 to 45 means have to remove what is 40 Okay, so up to forty only I am calculating. Below forty I don't want. So for that sake, forty-seven point eight six minus thirty-one eighty. So how much will get? Sixteen point eight. Sixteen point eight six. Eight six. Appro- approximately you can equate it to seventeen. That's it.